Now let us talk something about adenomatous polyp. Yes, let us talk about adenomatous polyp. It is simple, straightforward. Yes, adenomatous polyp. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder. Now let us talk something about adenomatous polyp. Yes, let us talk about adenomatous polyp. It is simple, straightforward. Yes, adenomatous polyp. When we talk about adenomatous polyp, yes, you have to see how these polyps are classified. So what is a polyp? It is a mucosal hypertrophy. Yes, this is a mucosal hypertrophy. Remember it is arising from mucosa but its root can penetrate up to the submucosa also. So this variety which is having a peduncle, this is what is known as a pedunculated polyp. This is a pedunculated polyp, pedunculated polyp. Then we have a polyp which is known as sessile polyp. We have a polyp which is known as sessile polyp, sessile polyp. When we talk about pedunculated versus sessile, Again, mucosa, submucosa, how to differentiate this? We have a classic classification of this adenomatous polyp and the adenocarcinoma present on them. Yes, and that classification is a Hegitz classification. It's a Hegitz classification. Now, based upon where the tumor is located, this classifies the polyp into different Hegitz category. So, try to understand what are the parts first this is the apex this is the apex this is the head this is the neck this is the stalk and this is the root this is the root yes now try to understand if the tumor if the tumor is present in the apex if the tumor is present in the head if the tumor is present in the neck in the stalk and in the root what are they? Let us see. Let us see. Apex is considered as H0. Head is considered as H1. Neck is considered as H2. Stock is considered as H3. And root is considered as H4. Remember, by default, all the sessile polyps, all the sessile polyps, they are classified as H4. So, H0, H1, H2, H3, H4, they are all very, 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 very important. So, when you go for colonoscopy, you see the polyp, you excise them and you see the extent of or where the tumor is located on the polyp. This is very important. Now, let us try to understand what is the classical management. What is the classical management? Whenever we talk about a colonic polyp, whenever we talk about a colonic polyp, the next thing that we want to understand is whether they are solitary or whether they are multiple. So, whether it is a solitary polyp or it is multiple. If it is a multiple, if it is a multiple, so then the management is it is treated with segmental resection. It is treated with segmental resection and what is this? You can say treated like adenocea like adenocea so there are multiple left sided polyp you will go for left hemicolectomy right sided polyp right hemicolectomy this is how we do if it is a solitary polyp if it is a solitary polyp then you need to know what hegit it is what hegit it is if it is hegit 0 if it is hegit 0 hegit 1 hegit 2 hegit 3 the management is you go for EMR. If EMR word is not written, that is endoscopic mucosal resection. Sometimes the word snare polypectomy is written. Snare polypectomy is written. So this is what is snare polypectomy. Snare polypectomy. Now try to understand if this is Hegitz 4. If this is Hegitz 4, what to do now? When we talk about Hegitz 4, the next thing is depth depth into submucosa now why submucosa are very involved very important 
because if it is going deeper into the submucosa it is closer to the lymphatics and yes there is a chance of disseminated infection so depth into the submucosa there could be two options either it is superficial either it is superficial students if it is superficial if it is superficial then what is the management yes you have to go for emr or maybe esmd what is esmd endoscopic submucosal dissection if it is deep if it is deep then remember we need to go for segmental resection segmental resection what do we mean by this yes it is treated like adenocea treated like adenocea remember to be more precise this is the brief overview according to hegetz for tumors involving into the submucosa we have a different classification 